Good afternoon, world. Good afternoon. We are back on the show, Books Ignite. My name is Fola Fola Bade, the celebrity publisher. And um, it's been one week now since the last time you saw me. Okay, so we are here again to discuss that one book that changed um, one of the people he admires life. Okay, so Books Ignite is a show dedicated to bringing on board successful individuals every Monday to share with us that one book that they want you, they want us to know about and talk about and read because it impacted their lives and they just can't hold it to themselves. They want you to know about it. Okay, so the norm, the the common catchy, the common line that we hear everywhere that um, re readers are leaders. That line is not a joke. It's true, and of course, even though today is um, public holiday, we can't hold back but hold this show to bring it to you. And I think my next speaker is here. Mute is someone I truly love and admire so very much in the leadership space is doing so well helping a lot of people to get better in life such a person is expected to be a very good reader and of course among the thousands of books he has read he's been privileged to read he's coming on board today to share with us that book he wants us to know about okay so wherever you're watching from i would like to know in the comment section and um you can also go ahead and share this video so that we can have more people learn from this show today. I remain your host, Fala Falagbadi, the celebrity publisher, and I can't wait for Mute to join me on this show today. Okay, trying to see if I can see the comments right now. Today, like every other Monday, 1 p.m., we are going to be discussing one book that changed, Mute, I mean, the speaker for today, the guest for today's life. That's Mute Efe. All right. Mute is a leadership coach, trainer, public speaker, author, an amazing businessman, and of course, a trainer is coming to share with us today one book that changed his life i don't know if there's network issue let me i'm trying to see mute will be right here with us in no time all right so you want to share this video you want to tell people to join you want to learn today Okay, so um, I also want to know in the comment section your favorite book, the book that you want people, if you're watching this, you, you can drop in the comment section your favorite book that you want people to know about. That book you that really transformed your life and you want people to know about to hear about. I'm trying to reach Mute 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 Mute. So please drop in the comment section that book you want people to know about. Um. 
Okay. Um, if you're a Nigerian, I'm wishing you happy uh, independence. And as we, hello, I'm waiting for you online. I'm waiting for you online. Oh, okay, good. I'll bring you on board now. All right, so Mute is here with us, and of course, I'm going to bring him to join these. Okay, Mute, since you can hear me, I actually didn't know you were here. Can you send a request? The video will ask you if you want to join the, uh, the live video. Can you send a request to join the live video? Okay, because I am trying to do that now. I'm not seeing you. So, Mute, please, jo please join the live by sending a request. I want to believe the pop-up button will be there for you to join. Okay, so Mute, I'm trying to, I'm looking for you to be able to add you here. I can't find you. If you can, it will show you there that do you want to come live? Can you request to come live? And let's have this conversation in 30 minutes or not or less. Okay, I don't know why I can't find Mute to join this live section right now. Um, Mute, if you can hear me, please send a request to join the live section. Okay, so it's us. Yeah, yeah, it just came in. Awesome. It just came in now. Okay. bring on board Mute Efe, a leadership coach. Of course, he will still tell us more about himself, but of course, um, he's a leadership um, coach, he's a trainer, author, amazing content creator, trainer, and a very consistent one like that. Okay, so he will be sharing with us that one book that um, he wants you and I to know about, to learn from, that has imparted him and has changed a lot about his being. Okay, Mute is joining, Mute is joining, Mute is joining. Yeah, Mute, you finally here. Yes, I can hear you very Sorry, well, you're you audible, me? very well. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good to have you here today. Sorry, it's like my my video oh, is not as okay. sharp as yours. I think it is. Um, okay, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good afternoon. Good to have you here. How are you doing today? Yes, I'm so good. I'm good. Uh, well, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so I've been watching you, but I really don't know how this yeah. thing works in terms of oh, <laughs> inviting okay. people to a Facebook Live. Stream yard. I usually okay. use Stream yard. When I'm doing live, I use third party. Nah, so like I don't me. ever oh, use okay. Facebook itself. <laughs> so how to? I, I don't know okay. how. <laughs> My the thing is that. My phone was oh. on the landscape. Okay, mode. so you were watching. It should be uh, like I'm this. not knowing that. Yeah, so it does not allow. Facebook does not allow oh, you to join. Just imagine on that. Oh, I just imagine that. Uh -huh. I didn't even know that. Uh -huh. I think I will put that into uh -huh. consideration so, yeah. when telling people to uh -huh. join. So we always tell them yeah. that they should put their phone. 
So it was when I turned when I turned the phone when I now turned the mm. phone to the vertical mode. That was when I now saw amazing, the amazing. Request. Got that today. Um, Thank you so very much. Thank you for all oh, you do. You, you you've been so consistent okay. um, oh. with teaching, teaching out content that 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 has the capacity to change lives, transform people's lives, and um, honestly, you are changing the narrative. Uh, you okay, don't blow. Not a blow. Not a blow. Not a blow. Well, you know, you know this this blow of a thing is relative, right? So I I, I also understand. I understand what you're saying, but of course, I want to applaud you for being very consistent with uh, what you are doing. Thank you so very much for how you do. But for the benefit of people that are watching and meeting you for the first time, can you just tell us one or two things about Mute um, Efe today? We just want to know you more. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um... <laughs> I know it's a long like, profile. Uh, I know it's a long profile. Okay, I'll say. <laughs> <you know. laughs> but of course, just give us the, well, the you know, short uh, one. Okay, in the my what do I, my yes. elevator pitch right that is that uh, <laughs> my elevator pitch is that I help you become the best version of yourself. I help people get to know you by applying leadership principles. So I help I make you become a highly sought after person by applying leadership principles. So primarily I'm into leadership. So but I help people in terms of personal leadership. How do you lead yourself between where you are to where you want to be? So that's yeah, my yeah. core purpose. So I move people from where they are to where they want to be using Amazing. leadership. Principles. Amazing. So uh, if you're watching this, we are on the show Book Signite, and with me today is um, um, Mote Efe, who is a leadership expert. I know him to be very, very consistent with um, you know helping people to get better at what they do and to get to move from one place. I mean, where they are now to wherever they want to be. Awesome. There, you want to connect with Mute, honestly. You truly want to connect with Mute. And you want to agree with me. You can even see from his background, books everywhere. You want to agree with me that someone <laughs> like this um, would be a reader, the great one at that, someone that reads all the time. And that is who Mute is, right? Because if you don't have anything, you won't... Um, You'll be empty if you don't feel your your you know you don't feel yourself with um, the right information. Of course, what would you be teaching? How would you help people to get better? So for someone like this, I know it's going to be a war, a true, I mean, a real challenging task for him to be able to pick one book that um, he wants you to know about. But of course, we are going to put him on that spot today and discuss that book that he wants you and I to know about to get better at whatever it is that we are doing and um, to achieve whatever it is that we want to achieve. Thank you so very much, Mute, for accepting to come on this show. I truly appreciate you and I don't take it for granted. All right, so before we even go into the book that um, you want us to know about, Mute, can you tell us why or when, at what point in your life did you start embracing um, personal development? And by that, did you expose yourself to reading and um, that became a part of your system? Okay, I will say, um, okay, I've been reading, of course, everybody reads. Okay, so by reading, I'm, other, I'm talking right? about your, I mean, Even personal I development reading. books, not those schools books. Okay. Yes, that's what I'm not going into. In terms of personal development, I would say, and that is one of the books I'm going to be talking about today. My final year in school, I attended Federal Polytechnic out too. During my final year in school, HMD2, a friend of mine brought one book to me. The book was titled How to Win Friends Amazing. and Influence People. Amazing. <laughs> 
So that was what the book was trying to how to win friends and I never forget that book. Never. <laughs> right. So it's um it just opened my eyes. Mm. <laughs> it just opened my eyes to a new world, right? So to a whole new world. You know, and it from there it was like I never stopped. Then when I got to my service year, while I was in camp. Yeah. The NYSE camp. Somebody, I saw this book with somebody else. It was titled mm. Richest Man mm. in Babylon. So it's like, it's like you, you don't want to stop at all. Richest today. Man in Babylon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I, I, so, those two books, I mean, of course, in terms yeah. of my niche as leadership, um, John Maxwell books has been my greatest mm. source of influence. Um, but I'm not going to go into all that. And John Maxwell has a lot of books. For, mm. for anybody just starting out, right? I'll say the two books that has the greatest impact on me was Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Then, George Classic, The Richest Man in Babylon. And yes. Many people don't know it. They see that mm. book as a book on mm. finance. Uh, but that book is a leadership book. If you look critically, the richest man in Babylon is a leadership. leadership book because it's encompassing mm, personal yeah. leadership. Yeah, exactly. it's now that you're saying it, that I'm looking at it too. It's encompassing because I would also tell you that it's a, it's a book <laughs> uh -huh. on um, finances, you know, because yes, yes, that's everybody mm. just sees it as a book on finance. But if you examine it critically, you will find out that it embodies the principles of personal mm. leadership. If you don't understand how to lead what yourself, is in you the cannot book? practice what is in the richest man in Babylon. Yes, yeah, so it's so, so so it's not just oh, finance. Oh, okay. It's also a so I um I think in a way you are the second person I'm bringing on this show that was already mature before embracing personal <laughs> leadership. I mean personal <laughs> development, honestly. So most of the people, and, uh, most of the people that have been bringing, is it that they started reading at seven and maybe at eight? And I, I, at a point, I started asking myself, oh. am I the only one? Because for me, I started when I was 23, <laughs> actually. That was when I came with my first book, you know. And when everybody... I asked um, China, so I asked this person. They started when they were pretty young, you know. Like, um, I admire them. Really. And I really admire, I admire them. them. They started admire when they were Some of them, their <laughs> parents, you know, they saw the book, they saw everything. So they started that way and all. So um, at least I have someone also in my circle, too, that we started pretty late. Someone like you. So, <laughs> so I'm not alone. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so. You were in your final year, and um, you you read that book, and you, you just couldn't stop. And um, till date, you've been reading different books and all. But these books, they still remain, you know, close to your heart, and you just can't forget about them, and you want people to read about it. So now, I want to ask you this. I think I, um, I, I, you, you probably you were not prepared for this. On an average, how many books do you read a year? I know you. Uh, <laughs> well, I, 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 I give will not. I don't. I don't give. I don't take okay. up. But I'm not number, average, yeah. But I would say plenty books. I'm not into those people that mm. read fifty books a year. I'm not into that. Uh, I can. I can like the whole of um, twenty twenty. I know I focused okay. on just six books. You are. You are more of you six. read the book, uh -huh. use it. So I'm, numbers, I'm not into I'm not quality, into numbers. Quality. I'm into quality. Uh, I'm into quality. So I, I can focus on six books in a whole you year. You digest I want them to make sure well. those six mm. books become a part of my life. Yes. Uh -huh. So I don't do those mm. fifty-two books I, in one I, year. I, get that. <laughs> I don't do that. But they over lost, the year. Yeah. No, I no, no, no. Books. I can tell. I can tell. Uh -huh. So I agree with you, just like what uh, Chris always said. On the last show, um, he said he made his own book, the book that changed his life, and he wants everybody to to know about. He said that book. He reads it like every day. Sometimes 
You can, in a month, you can read the book every day, listen to it, the audio book. So just to digest, it's yeah. not enough for you to just read the book and then you feel that, okay, fine. You are done, you drop it. That's you want to read it again and again. And sometimes these books, I don't know if they do you like that. Sometimes they are like um, what Bible. It happens to me like that sometimes. Like you just, <laughs> did I read this book before? Like more like a Rema or something. It just comes. <laughs> and at every stage we have, you know, the, the way we read books is different. And the meaning, the meaning we attribute to them yes. is different at that point in time. You understand? Like when you are earning in one yeah. million, the way, I mean, maybe you are earning less than a million naira, the way you will use um, um, the richest man in Babylon will be different from someone that is now earning 100 million naira. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> at every, so you won't say because you, you read it, you, don't, you won't go back to the book again. So I agree with you. I also, I'm also of that school of thought and I agree with you. Even though I read a, norm, I read a lot of books anyways, but I go back again. Um, no, you, are, you are inside books now. Uh, your, your work but I go back books. again to read, to reread <laughs> books and all. Thank you for that. Okay, so now let's go into um, the first book you mentioned. That's How to Win Friends. Okay. Exactly. Friends and so, friends um, what are the, your lessons or what are the reasons why you think everybody would need that book to get better in life? Okay. Um, primarily, I think life is about mm. relationship. Life is about relationship. You cannot, there is no way you are going to separate relationship from life. Right? So, once you, you've made up your mind that you want to live life to the full, mm. the relationship must be part of it. And that book, you know, tells you how you can cultivate good relationship with people. You know, you know many times, we tend to project ourselves towards others. We think the way we are, yes. that is how every other person is. Yeah. So, because you like color blue, mm, you think everybody color blue. like mm. <laughs> the blue color. <laughs> yes. So, but it's not like that. So, when I read How to Win Friends and In Principle, I still remember once, one, there's one sentence inside that he said, to catch a fish. Mm. Yes, I, very well. I, 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 you can hear me, right? He said, if you want to catch a fish, if you want to catch a fish from the river, he said, no matter how much you love the skip, you can never use the skit to catch a fish. Mm. <laughs> right? Mm. <laughs> it does not matter you how much you love the skit. Mm. Fishes don't like the skit. You cannot use it to catch fish. <laughs> so you have to find out what does the fish like. And then like. give it to them. <laughs> right? And fish, uh -huh, and mm. fish likes worms. They want to eat worms. So even though you hate worms, mm. but that is what the fish loves. <laughs> So you've got to take a worm to the fish, to the fish, and let the fish take, take with that, mm. you get the fish into your hook. You say if you if you use your biscuit as a bait, the fish will just be swimming they around won't. you. They won't. None of them will come towards it, yes. So, but when you put a worm inside mm. your bait, that's your fishing hook. So once you put a worm, mm. there, then the fishes will come to it. So he said you've got to keep that in mind that to get anybody, you have, what does this person like? Mm. The so attention. That is what it is to get the attention. Okay, how, how, that question okay. now, it's how what will you like, answer yeah. it? How will you know what people, so for instance now, how will I know what a mute likes? Let's say I want to, I need a mute in my life, I need, um, I need you in my circle and all. How will I know what you, what a mute wants? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. So now, there are two ways to that. One, mm. you study them, or secondly, you ask them. Is that simple? It's either you study them, <laughs> many people underrate the place of ask asking, them. or you ask. Many, many people underrate mm. that place of asking, right? You just want to know from afar. But no, you study them, or you ask. Now, let's go back to that analogy. 
over the years, people have studied fishes and they've written yeah. books about fishes, right? So if you read books about fishes, you will get to know that fishes love worms. Even though you can't go into study. the water to go and mm. study a fish by yourself. But other people who have studied the fishes, they know that fishes love worms. Because somebody has tried using this kit one day, there was no fish. He tried using this, no fish. Yeah. He tried worm. You get me? Uh, he saw that yeah. he caught a fish. Uh -huh. So that person has gone through the experiment, experimentation phase. And that person has written a book that uh, mm. discovered that fishes yeah. love worms. <laughs> right? So if you read that you will get to know that fishes love worms. And you won't, you won't have so you exactly, don't need to go through that's that try and error phase again. That's where I was going. Uh -huh. you, you won't have to go through try and error phase again. But many times, mm. because we don't study, we don't read, mm. we keep reinventing the Making wheel. all the mistakes ourselves. And reinvent the wheel. Uh -huh. you, feel you make all the mistakes yourselves. So, mm. that, which is not the best part. So you can study them. For instance, um, if, I, if I want to watch you, if I want to break into your circle, mm. I want to get, get close to you, I look at you and I say, okay, from studies, I realize that people love people who meet their needs. That's so, right? We all, we all do. People love, mm. people, love people who, <laughs> who meet their needs. So I ask myself, what need does Fola have? Yeah. You get me? If I study all of Fola's posts, I see that each time Fola wants to do something, a program, he just writes it on his post. There is no mm. picture. There is no flyer. I've discovered a need. I can send you a DM. Fola, I notice that you, anytime you have a program, you just type it on your post. I can help mm. you send a flyer for free. Mm. And what, what, what you said now, <laughs> get, is, is, you what you said now, it, it's me. very practical. <laughs> and I, I made a post recently because that happened yes. to me, you know. Uh, this issue of mentorship and okay. all of those things. I remember that I, I was also looking out for... You wanted to say something? Can you give me a, 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 a minute? Just a, okay. a, a slight all right, second. Right, I want no to just quickly... No problem. Um, okay. Attend to something. Okay, okay, so if you're watching this, thank you, um, Marvelous. Thank you, Dabin. Thank you for joining. Thank you for commenting. Okay, I'm checking out this. The um, all right, okay, okay, no more. I think I've read out all the comments. Okay, so if you're joining, we are on the show Books Ignite, and today we are uh, having on board with me. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming, uh, coming on this show. Everyone watching, like, yeah. I'm seeing your likes, I'm seeing your love. Thank you. My name is Fola Fola Gbadi, the celebrity publisher, and here with me is Mute Efe. Okay, so Mute, I was about saying something the other time. I said yeah, it happened that? to me. Yes. Yeah, that it happened yeah, to Not you. even that recently, you but recently. I would say a lot of things that now changed in my life was because of that decision. Okay, so I was at that point, that stage in my life, that I was looking for a um, mentor, or people that I can learn from. Just like we discussed, you can learn everything on your own or by your own or with just your mistakes and all. It will be too stressful. It will be too draining. You won't even move fast. So yeah. you want to leverage on other people that are probably gone ahead of you and all of that. So I was looking out for that and I saw this person that I truly like, who, of course, everybody knows that is my coach. That's Sam Obafeni. I was looking at him and I... I saw, I was just starting out as a graphic designer, and I saw his brand identity, and that was it for me. I just felt like, man, this guy doing this much, his brand identity can be better. And I picked it up. I just sent him a message, can I revamp your brand identity? He said, yes. And I did it. I couldn't sleep. You know, when your mind, I couldn't sleep that night. I did it, and I sent it to him, and it was awesome. It was you know, accepted, want, and since that day, it's been over. It's been over eight years now, oh. thereabouts. We are we've moved from even being, um, you know, coach to mentee, mentor to to family. You understand? So I totally agree with you. For people looking oh. out for um, what the problem to solve, 
and don't always be in that place of wanting to receive. Look out for what you can give. You understand? Yeah. You like this person, you admire this person, you want this person in your circle. Look out for the person's need. And like you said, he's always there. We all have needs. Everybody, even the richest man in the world, will still have a need. So look in what exactly look in what and yeah, see what you need. Thank you so very much for that. Is there any other lesson you want to share in this book for people to know? Okay, the, the, the second lesson that I got from that book is that people will always do what you want if you make them think it is their idea. Mm. <laughs> Who's going to type that in the comment section? Yeah. Someone yeah. should type that in the comment section. <laughs> the people will always, they will always do what you want if you make them want to do it. I don't know if you get my point. You, so you are not telling them do it, you make them want to do it. And the way you make them want to do it is make them feel as if it mm. is their idea. Right? So when you, when you, are, you, are, if you are able to practicalize that, so you are not just pushing stuff at people. You are, you, and you give them a reason to want to do mm. it. Right? You give them a reason that will make them want to do it. So... Um, we all know the common um, illustration of the guy that was on, that was trying to push yeah. the cow, right? He was trying to push the cow from one point to the other. The cow was not moving. Then somebody else came and tied the grass that the cow eat on a stick and put it in front yes, of the I cow, <laughs> right? So that the cow yeah. would move to go and pick it. But because it was attached to a stick, as the car was, was moving, also moving. The stick yeah. was moving. Yeah. <laughs> moving. So the cow moved the entire distance because it wanted to mm. get something to eat. So that, that illustration it. just, you know, made, made me see that that is how to get people to get things done. Give them a reason. Give them a result that they will love to have, you know. A second illustration, I don't know if you read the story of um, the, the, this woman was trying to get the son. The son was in school, right? And the son had never written back to her, never replied okay. any of her letter. So, and she was wondering why the son was not replying. So she, she met this other guy and made, and made the complaint that my son is not replying my letters. I've written in several letters. And the son is not replying. So the guy said, okay, don't worry. We'll write one more letter mm -hmm. and he will reply. Right? So <laughs> they, drafted, they drafted the letter. And at the end, she said, enclosed in this letter is $20 for your upkeep. But there was no money inside the, the letter. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay. <laughs> so when the son read the letter and saw enclosed he had no $20, option. <laughs> And yet, there was no That's dollar. Okay. He had no option but to reply. I see. <laughs> he had no option but to reply. Dollar. Because he wanted that $20, right? So, so just by put, giving a reason, giving something that will make people want to do it, you know, will, will always be a way to get results. So, and, and today, in contemporary style, we always say, sell results, mm, not sell products. Yeah, yeah. Right? Sell your results. We would say it's sell mm. results, don't sell process. Uh -huh. Because, yes, we know that it is process that will get them to the result, but if you advertise process, nobody will register for the class. So you advertise results, they register through the, the company, process, then you take them through mm. the process. <laughs> Not take them through the process. That result. That will get them that result. So, People will always do what you want if you make them want to. If you show them a reason why Thank they will Thank you so very do. much. That so you those are two lessons wow. I wow. always remember but from. It, it seems you, you, you still book. have another book you want to talk about, <laughs> which is uh, The Richest Man in Babylon. Yeah. Yes, like, yeah. like I said, The Richest Man in Babylon, which I said is um, it's not just a finance book, it's also mm. a leadership book. You know, um, 
there are, I think we can ever finish talking about richest man in Babylon. Anybody who has not read I read, I read, I read that book. Right? Uh -huh. because I, I had to buy the, <laughs> the, you know, there are two. There's a new one by Spencer. The new one is now the richest man in Babylon yes. for yes. 21st century. Yeah. So there's this, this first yes. one, then there's this other one. But the two, they are both powerful. Anyone watching this, you want to read these books. The, as the richest man in Babylon, man, it's powerful. But I will leave it. I will leave it to you. you, know, you. The, the, the good thing, yeah. if, if permit me to just say this, the good thing about the book is that no mm. matter where you are in life, <laughs> no matter where you are in life, whether you are 20, you are yeah. 40, you are 60, yeah. you can apply them. And even if you think you failed, you missed the last 20 years of your life, you messed it up, right? That book will still help you. you know, because not just finance alone, but yeah. in being able to lead yourself in other areas. Discipline. Uh, being able to lead yourself in lot. other areas. You know, yeah. Discipline. Um, there, there is a story of, um, you remember when the guy yeah. was saving 10% yeah. the first time, right? After the first one year, he took his money and Akkad asked him that, with okay, the money. Yeah. what did you do with the money after saving? He said he gave it to a yeah. player yeah. to go and buy jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not told him that you've already lost that money. You know, so and that hmm. was um, 10 years of yeah. your life gone. Investment. Right? Uh -huh. so, uh, a lot, a lot, a lot about that. Yeah. A lot. A lot. And so, but because he had already had that habit, yes. He so habit, over. building habit is also right? part of it. <laughs> you understand to how to build habits habit and maintain it. Was part of it. So it's it's yeah. it, so it, it, it is. is it is. I agree with you. I agree with you. A whole lot. So, so, so no matter where mm. you are, that book helps. It helps any any time. You know, even if you look at family, any area you want to look at it. It helps. And well, another thing I love about the book, it projected into the future. As at the time that book was written, mm, the insurance yeah. was not in existence. Yeah. <laughs> but Akkad said he foresees when the time years, will come yes. <laughs> when people will be able to mm. deposit something. You get that point to her. Because he was talking about insurance, that it, a time will come when people will be able to deposit something that will take mm. care of their life after death. Mm, so yeah about life insurance so that yeah, there will be after they have of, died, yeah. even after they had died yeah. yes exactly so as at that time the book was written there was nothing like mm. that kind of insurance then for so the book all, that we never go it's out still selling like crazy. <laughs> it's, it's so if you're life. watching this um we are on the um, show yeah. books ignite and today with me is mote Efe. and we've been discussing books Mute, because of what he's into, he can't stop on one book. He had to mention two books. This is the first time we are discussing two books on this show. Okay, so, and yes, we've been discussing the books that changed Mute's life. And he wants everybody here, everybody here to go get those books, right? So, if you're watching, please drop on in the comment section any question you have for Mute uh, so we can address it before we go meanwhile you need to follow mute on facebook right now if you're watching the replay as well follow mute follow people way no road that's the problem hmm? follow people and um, what what you see what you read and what you listen to these are things that make up your life eventually that will that will mold your life so you want to be reading good stuff. You want to help your mind. Our mind, generally Africans, our mind is, 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 is it's a problem on its own. Judging by, judging by how we grew oh, up, that... money don't grow on different things that we've been told, different things that we've been, you understand? So our mind needs to be renewed, you understand? And the best way to do it is by consuming content that can, you know, positively affect our mind and change it for good there's this scripture i like the most and it's also about the mind as far as you can see so will i give so will you have eventually and how can you 
as um, see far if your mind is only seen just now. How can you, you talk, you just talked about this author that um, wrote this book and, you know, for years now, and the book is still very relevant now. That's because the person could see beyond that moment. And the only way you can is for you to expose yourself to, I mean, learning a lot. So follow a mute right now on every social media. He has a group that is very um, educative. Please join and keep learning and get better at whatever it is that you're doing in life. We want to see you at the top. We help me too. I want to get to the top. Hmm? I'm, <laughs> I'm striving to get to the top. Okay, so it's just important for us. Yes, all of, all us, of us, us want to blow. Want blow right? Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what did he say? Uh, in Javale said, I remember pronouncing your name as Mute. Okay. <laughs> mute. <laughs> mute. His the name is Mute. 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 Yeah. All right. Thank you so very much, Mute, for coming on this show. Do you have one or two things you want to tell? No. Before we get there, I want to ask you. I always ask. Nigerian books or foreign books? Which do you read the most? Well, I would say recently I've been I, I've read okay. a number of Nigerian books. Okay, let me even. This is a Nigerian. Book. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. I have quite a number of. If you want, right? Oh, okay. It's a Nigerian okay. published book. by us <laughs> by Warrior. Huh? I can I can give you Amazing. a whole section of my shelf. That are just Nigerian authors. Uh, because I know before, I, I'm going to be frank, I'll say in the last 10 years, Nigerians have stepped up. And in the last 10 years, Nigerians have stepped up. Uh, people like um, Sam Adeyemi, you know, they've written books that, yeah. will, that are global. So, uh, there, before we used to say Nigerians don't read, and if you go to bookshop, you exactly. don't see Nigerian author section at all. Uh, but today, I think Nigerians are stepping up. Uh, people, a lot of people have authored books now that are really yeah. are high quality books, that because mm. our minds have become exposed, and we can now write books that are par with foreign authors. So, um, so a now, good book. as long as it's a good book that you know meet. Uh -huh, that meets the specific mm. need I want at that moment. Well, yeah, I don't care which author wrote it. And uh, in, in fact, there are some. I tell people that as much as we praise foreign authors, exactly, in this country, <laughs> our, our demo is different. Uh -huh. So the context, mm. the context differs. The context differs. So sometimes only a Nigerian author can really address the situations in Nigeria. If you just take any business book written by an American mm. and you want to apply it here, you will struggle. And because the context, oh uh, the context differs. So I read foreign Nigerian books. Books. Okay, I think we have a question uh, here from Marvelous. Sir, yeah. you talked about finding their needs and solving it. Please, how do you ask them so that they will get them tell you where they need assistance. You can send them an inbox, or let me allow Mute to, Mute, please okay. answer the question. <laughs> like, like, like I said, I said there are two ways. You can study them, or you ask them. Nobody's going to crucify you for asking a question. Nobody. Uh -huh. People have sent me DMs and just saying that they want to avail themselves to serve. That in what area do I think they can serve? I will not tell them, okay, I need somebody that has this skill and this skill yeah. and this skill, right? So if you have any of those skill sets, then that means there is something you can do for me, right? So that, apart from that, you can also study the person as he's posting on Facebook, as he's posting on LinkedIn, Instagram. You can see things. It can be something as simple as the person mm. makes mistakes in his post, right? You've noticed a lot of errors. You can say, can I help you yeah, review yeah. your post before you post them? 
So you write them, you send them to me. I will correct whatever errors are on them, send it back to you before you post. That is, mm. that is a need that you have met. You have met. So there are myriads of ways that you can use to actually solve people's needs. Myriads. And of course, mm. you can send them a bank alert. Too. I, 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 I <laughs> they will, agree they will you. Always you can, appreciate you can you. send them inbox. <laughs> you can. And trust me, people read their inbox. The only issue is how you address yes. or present your message. So that don't, this issue of people don't read that inbox message. People read. Well, sometimes they just see your inbox mm -hmm. message, the way you even started, in, this one should just be in the spam there. And Facebook has now done it well, that you can open <laughs> message, you can, you the person will not even know. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. it even, and even before then, they can no, open your message yeah. and decide not to reply. Okay, so... And um, it should, meanwhile, you will still reach out to some people that they may not reply you. Don't let that stop you. Still understand that um, you, exactly. there are other people that you can also reach out to. So if this is not working, look out for other people. So it's not every time you get yes. <laughs> don't, don't believe that every time you'll be getting yes. There will be times yes. that you'll get no. So, but that should not stop you from pressing on, you know? Yeah. Thank you so much for that quality answer. Okay, thank you very much for the idea of reviewing this post. I have one I really want to call his attention to it. Oh, okay. Good, thank you. All right, um, Mute, before we go now, how many books have you written, published? You lost count. Okay. In yeah, generally. Print, yeah, generally. Okay. No, in divided. terms of print. Yeah. All of them, yeah. whether print or digital, I've written. Thank you so very much books. for contributing to the knowledge industry. Mm -hmm. That's great. Whether, That's great. So, whether print or digital, but in I've printed copy. one in hard copy. Yeah, digital. Yeah. The others yeah, exactly. thank you so very much. This is one of the I, I usually appreciate authors really because it's not easy. And just like you said, the industry is just picking up. That's just the truth in the last and it's like that in every yeah. industry yeah. that I know of, especially the create I mean content creation industry. If we look at our music, it didn't start the way it is now. At the point we were not listening yeah. to Niger artists exactly it was all about Celine Dion, all those guys <laughs> you know but now yeah. people are now paying attention do you get and the same thing i say i was yeah. surprised yesterday yesterday i saw a video where the yes. video and usher you, can you, you <laughs> understand the that's the thing that's where we are going this industry <laughs> and the thing oh. for internet internet mm. art is a leverage you understand? So I believe that this industry as well, that's the, because that's more like the only industry that has not fully peaked when it comes to the content creation. Music has peaked. The comedy is peaking really fast. The comedy movie is peaking so yes. well, right? So the one yeah. that is left now is this book publishing itself, right? Which I know that, yes, we are here to do a lot about it and change the game for good. Thank you for contributing your own part and thank you for coming on this show with me. So, thank you so very much, Mutin. All right. Do you have any words, right. anything you want to tell people before I allow you to go now? Uh, okay. I think what I would say is that sometimes people, I've seen people criticize reading of books, because probably because they are expecting magic, that um, you read a book now, then that book should translate into money in your bank account. But that is not how it works. You read to develop yourself. Then your personal development is what will produce mm. the other results, right? So you read First. for your own development. Your personal development will not produce other results for you. So, but people want to jump the gun from reading and to start seeing results when they have not yet transformed mm. their way of thinking. Today, it does not matter that mm. my bank account is reading zero, right? 
I, I, I can never worry about money. Mm. So I will not be worrying big pediatric because I have. Mm. I, I know too you much. <laughs> Are you getting me? I know. <laughs> I know too much that I can now convert into oh, cash. Okay. Uh -huh. So, because I have developed myself to that level, and so it's I, 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 I am not looking at the bank Your account worth, yeah. to measure my worth. Uh -huh. My worth is separate from my bank account. So, but a lot of people, because they don't mm. get this relationship, they think that reading, what it will reading do for me, it is money, show us the money, show us the money. <laughs> no. Uh, reading helps. Yes, I know we all need that money, but there is nothing like mm. knowing who you are because it's mm. like a bucket that is full. When your bucket is full, yeah. you know that it is full. Uh, you can never compare a man who reads with one who does yeah. not read. Yeah, Thank you so parts. very much. Thank you, Mute. Thank you for accepting to come on this show. And oh. um, let, yeah, let me allow you to go now. Meanwhile, before Mute leaves, I want you all to go and follow Mute. And if you're watching the replay, also follow Mute to get better in life. Learn, learn, learn. All right, Mute, bye for now. We will see you. We will see. Right. We will see. <laughs> Thank you. All right. All right. <laughs> of course. Uh, okay. So I'm actually I, I, trying I to even remove you now. Just but end not the show. Going. Okay. So, okay. of course, this is um, <laughs> the end of the show. And um, if you want to watch the replay, it's going to be live on my YouTube channel for you to go watch. Bye for now. See you again next week, Monday, when we have another speaker to come and share with us that one book that changed his or her life. Bye for now.